Welcome to the Dating Candy podcast and vlog. We're all about love, sex, romance, and kink. I've barely been around lately, at least on my blog and my podcast, and I miss it, so I'm working on getting back to that. Thing is, and I know many of you understand, when you're a small business, especially in startup mode, sometimes it takes forever to put out fires or to get a system in place for something new or, well, whatever. <laughs> And I get behind pretty regularly because I'm as human as anyone else, although perhaps a bit more flawed than most. That said, I've seen a lot of chatter on some groups that I follow recently about what is appropriate kink behavior in public. And it reminded me of a quote I've used before. It doesn't matter what you do in the bedroom as long as you don't do it in the street and frighten the horses. Mrs. Patrick Campbell. Indeed, don't frighten the horses. But what about people? Specifically other people who can't consent to whatever. Where is the line between civil liberties and what might be best kept behind closed doors? For me, this is an easy one. If it's something that the average person would or could do without much more than a remark, a raised eyebrow, or oh my, then I'd probably feel comfortable doing it. Like me, as a cis woman, kissing a gender visually read as something other than masculine. If I can kiss a masculine presenting person without any issues in that situation, I would feel comfortable kissing a non-masculine presenting person without a ding to my ethics. Same for me as a white woman kissing any person that presents as non-white. If I can do it one way, I can do it another. However, if it's something that is generally specific to certain atmospheres, like bikinis at the beach versus in downtown big city USA, offensive to the vast majority of people, no matter who is doing it, like shagging in public, or is considered extreme or kinky play, like walking someone on a leash when it's not Halloween or doing cuttings, then I would personally keep it private or within a venue open to that. That's my line of ethical demarcation. What's yours? Thank you for joining me today. If you loved this episode, please share it with others who would enjoy it. And please do join me at datingkinky.com. It's built by kinksters for kinksters, poly, queer, trans folk, and anyone not quite vanilla. And it's free. Find me on FetLife as Nookie Notes, and on Twitter, Pinterest, YouTube, Facebook, and Medium as Dating Kinky. We're on Instagram as Dating Kinky Official, all one word. Have a kinky day, and I'll catch you next episode.